This video is going to demonstrate how to add sound, whether it be sound effects, music, or narration to video inside of WeVideo. First thing you need to do is sign in to your WeVideo account. Once you are signed in, you may not see the same things as I see here as I have a couple of recent videos that I've edited, but you are going to choose create new and in this case we're going to create a new video. So I go ahead and click on that and inside here you will see uh, up at the top it has different things such as stock media. These are video and sound files and pictures that you can use. My media, this is media that I've uploaded for various projects. You can add text, we're not going to go over that today. Audio, this is what we're going to add today, is we're going to add audio to videos. To do this, we need first to get a video uh, that we're going to add sound to. Now, you can get video by going to stock media and searching for a video that you like. I found a video uh, from this website, Pixabay, which allows videos to be reused. So I'm going to go ahead and download this video of this deer and I'm going to choose to download it. It's just a picture of a deer eating. So I click on download. I'm going to choose this size just because it's a little bit smaller but still works well. So I'm going to download. The video is downloaded and I'm also going to add some sound. So I'm going to go to the website soundbible.com and I can search for sound and in this case if I just type in forest it will bring me a list of sounds that I can use. And I'm going to choose to use one that is in the public domain. In this, in this case, I'm going to choose Rainforest Ambience. I can listen to it by clicking on this, or I can click here to download it. I'm going to go ahead and choose to download the MP3 file. So I click on that file. It will now download it. So I've downloaded a video file. I've also downloaded some ambient sound as well. I go back to Wii Video and I go to My Media and I can import some video footage. So I'm going to click on Import. I can either drag my footage and drop it here. I'm going to click Browse to Select. Mine is in my Downloads folder. And here I can see I have these two images. I select on one file, I press Shift and I go to the next file and I click on Open and it's going to import those two sound files. Now to put the video file on here, this is my timeline, this is where all the video shows, I can drag the, the video file that I just brought in down to my video one layer and here I can play through by either pressing the play button which is here or by coming over here I can press the space bar and that will work as well. So I have the video of the deer there and what I would like to do is add some background sound. Now the deer is eating, so I'm actually going to record some Foley sound or some sound of the deer eating. Now I'm not a Foley expert, so it may not sound professional, but let's go ahead and give it a try. To record the sounds, I click on My Media. I go to where it says Narrate. This will allow me to record sound as I go. If you choose record here, it actually will record screen or video. I just want to record audio. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on narrate. And when it starts, I'm going to make the sounds of the deer chewing. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. So I can play through and see if I like the sound and see if it goes along well with the video. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. This will save my sound and I can see my sound can is down here. There's a voiceover track. If I were to play this, I will now hear the voiceover track along with my video. And if I notice that the sound is too loud, I can actually bring it in, bring it down so it's not as loud 
as well as have the sound fade in or fade out. That means it goes soft in and soft out. And you can see here these air blue lines are representing how to make the sound go in and out. So I can go back and I can play this again. I'm going to bring that sound down again. I can also bring down certain points if I want. If it's too loud, I can click on these white dots. I can drag this down. This is showing me the volume here. Now if I play through it, it's a little bit softer. To, I can also add music to this by going up to my media. I can also add music to this by going to audio and by choosing either sound effects. If there's a sound that I want to add, for example, if I want to add in uh, some sort of animal, maybe I want it to sound more like insects, I can come in here. I can put this one down on this audio track. And so I can add that in. I'm going to delete that though because I have downloaded an audio file that I can add in. If I go back to my media, I can come up to where it says Rainforest Ambience. And I can put this audio file in here. So now I have the sound of the audio of the background, I have the voiceover or the foley, and I can see here that my audio is too big. So I can just click on this on the end and drag it over here. I can do the same thing with this one, make them the same length. And now I have added sound to this video. Now this is a brief demonstration on how to add sound. Go ahead and explore WeVideo and see how you can add uh, your own sound effects, whether it be built-in sound effects, sound effects that you download from something like SoundBible. You can add in videos and see what you can do. Again, I click on My Media, I click on Narrate, and I can narrate. And as the spring begins, this lovely deer decides it's time to eat and get a snack before it goes out for a spring jaunt. All right, so I'm not the greatest at narrating, but you can get the idea of how to narrate, how to add uh, music, how to add sound effects to make the video sound much better. And now I can see down here's my voiceover. I can play it. And as the spring begins, this lovely... And there we go. I have a video. When you are finished, you're going to click on finish and this is going to export your video or allow you to turn it in. So give it a name, maybe call it your name, Foley video, click set, and then you can choose which setting to export it. This is higher quality, but it takes a little bit longer. This is lower quality, but it goes faster. You can also choose what your thumbnail will be doesn't matter. I'm going to choose that one. I, you, I do recommend that you uncheck mark as public. That way you can keep it private. And I'm going to choose HD. And if you're going to save it to Google Drive, you click right here and it'll ask you to connect to it. I'm not going to connect right now, but I recommend doing that so it's easier to export. And then you can go ahead and click on export. And then when it's done, that's the assignment you'll turn in. I look forward to seeing what you make.